doing so far, or good afternoon, whatever day or time it is, wherever you're at. Um, it's kind of funny, I don't know why I said a good morning. But anyway, uh, what we're going to look at today is, or on this video, is my 1999 Mexican Strat copy, or not Strat copy, it's a Mexican Strat. The only thing that makes this a, a basically the 1999 Strat is the body and the neck. The guitar was beaten up kind of a little bit when I got it. Looked like a kid had owned it and decided to chisel his initials all through a bunch of places. Had to sand a lot of that out. <laughs> to the guitar. It was a black guitar, but I sanded it down, uh, relicked it, painted it black again. Um, but I did the relics not completely spot for spot like Gilmore, but there's a lot of spots that were very inspired. I have the book, the black Strat. I used to own a custom shop, relic black Strat. Um, loved the guitar. It was a great guitar. Uh, but I could not see paying the price for that when I could do a lot of the building myself. So I ended up selling that guitar and decided to build this. You know, I put in so some things on the on the black strat that I wasn't I didn't care a whole bunch for, and uh, I shouldn't say I didn't care a whole bunch for. I like there's things I like better than that were on the black strat. That's a better way to put it. They had the custom shop pickups, and then they had the Seymour Duncan SSL5. I have a Seymour Duncan SSL5 here, but instead of having the custom shop pickups on there, I have David Allen Voodoo 69s in the neck position in the middle. Love those. Um, one of the things I also did, I put a treble bleed on my volume, so when you turn the volume down, um, it doesn't, like, so. Trouble come through. It doesn't darken up. People call it darkening up. I call it adding bass to it, but now it's bright. I didn't know how I was going to like that, so I did it on a push pull pot. Just so if I didn't like it, I could still do the old way. I put a switch in here. Um, That's just the back pickup. Now, if I engage the switch, I'll have the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. Mexican, I put in a Fender steel block. Uh, that's that's goes hand in hand with what Gilmore has in his Strat. Um, now I put in locking Fender locking tuners in the back there. Um, I like locking tuners. I like just, um, and I don't like the open open tuners that Gilmore had on his. That's the personal preference. Um, have the shortened tremolo arm, same as his. Um, you get these two Callaham uh, trims. I don't have a Callaham bridge on here. I may upgrade to that, and maybe the next upgrade I do. Um, this guitar, also, it's gloss paint, but as you can see, it's not a super glossy guitar. I did. I sanded it down kind of on purpose a little bit to mat up the paint just a little bit and keep some of the gloss. I sanded, went sanded it to, back to gloss in some areas and not gloss in other areas, kind of to match the guitar, uh, the original. Um, and I do like the way the, the mat kind of feels. Um, I tongue oil the back of the neck uh, like I do the majority of my neck. So I'm just playing through my VVT. 
X40, got it kind of clean. There's no real. Let's see, I have a little bit of a memory man on, and then the Hall of Fame on. Just the drive sound right there. $4,000 for a new one was a bit pricey and I probably should never have paid that. Uh, I did get my money out of it. They've gone up even since then. But yeah, this, I will, I would hold this next to one of the uh, strats. I put a lot of time in the neck. That's, I'll say this over and over throughout videos. If you're doing any work on a guitar, the best thing you can learn how to do and tools you can invest in, are, I would say are tools to work on the neck. Uh, to adjust it, to do, give your, you know, level the frets, polish the frets, uh, roll the edges, make sure you don't have frets sprout. Um, cause that's, it just makes them, when you pick up an expensive guitar, go to any guitar store, and you pick up an expensive guitar, and you pick up a cheap guitar, one of the first things you're gonna feel different are the, are the frets. And you can pick up a Squire Strat and go to a USA Strat. It's that attention to detail. Then when you get to the custom shop, that's where they really start pouring in all the, all the, I don't even want to say it's tricks of the trade, it's not even that, it's just they put in the tender love and care, the TLC to the neck and to every little area, you know, like, uh, pick up a Paul Reed Smith, everything is ergonomic, correct, on those guitars, they're great guitars. A lot of people make a lot of great guitars and copy that. You don't, have to go buy it all the time. You can try to copy it. You can get an inexpensive guitar and just try to boost it up. That's another thing about quality guitars and quality parts. Uh, is you can it, that taper's nice.